Now, as you can see, this wing's pointed slightly up, okay? With this wing pointed slightly up, the air contacts the bottom of the wing. The wing then deflects the air down. With the air being deflected down, let's say it's being deflected down at 10 units. That means for every action, there's an equal yet opposite reaction. So now we get another 10 units applied to this upward force. We only had 10 units applying down. Congratulations. We are now generating lift. Yay! But that's not the only way because if we, if this was the only way we could generate lift, every airplane would have to fly around like this, which might feel great if you're on an airliner, because then even if you can't recline your seat, if the airplane's flying around like this, you're always reclined, right? But obviously we know that that's not the case. Airplanes generate lift with the wings relatively level. So the next law, or the next rule for lift generation is Bernoulli's principle.